Hello, so welcome to the historic Bond Street on London where you'll find all of the designer brands. So Bond Street holds a special place in my heart because I used to work for a big brand here on Bond Street. And I remember just before London Fashion Week, we'd often be in the building up until midnight um, and they've got a roof terrace. And working on that roof terrace in the summer before London Fashion Week, even if we're working really long hours, was such a treat, especially after a lovely breakfast just around the corner with my assistant at the Wolsey. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno, as well as magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life, because I know you're ready to rock life again. We are at the Burlington Arcade, a really historical arcade here in London. Um, you'll see there's a statue of Beau Brummel, one of the original dandies at the end, because of course the dandies, just like the flaneurs in France, would walk through these very arcades in the 1800s and at the turn of the century. Here we are outside Santa Maria Novella, so this is a beautiful pharmacy store. For those of you that know Florence, you'll know that the original Santa Maria Novella store is absolutely exquisite, with hand-painted frescoes on the ceilings, um, it's well worth a visit if you're in Florence. This is just an international outpost, but still perfect for getting those little gifts, even if that's for yourself. Delicious bath oils and fragrances. So nowadays the Burlington Arcade, um, and it carries on across the street there, is full of little independent boutiques. You can get some vintage Rolex watches, for example, limited edition pieces. Um, and up towards the end, we've got handmade shirt makers, predominantly for men, but don't be afraid to go to these stores as well, women. Even the handmade shoe stores cater for women these days. And you can also get incredible umbrellas, handkerchiefs that you can get your initials monogrammed onto if that's your thing, um, colorful socks in a vast array of colors, all sorts of like, little finishing touches to your outfits um, that are just going to elevate your modern midlife style. One of the things that Fortnum & Mason is really famous for is their hampers. If you're going to come to London and you're going to go on a picnic in nearby Green Park or maybe beautiful Richmond Park with the deer around you, you can come here and get a hamper. A hamper contains all of the accoutrements that you might need for a picnic, be that a full-size hamper, which contains lovely leather straps that hold your plates and wine glasses, or should that be champagne glasses, or perhaps a smaller hamper, which might contain a selection of fine cheeses, chutney perhaps, all available in the beautiful food hall of Fortnum & Mason. Actually, once I was working for a famous British heritage brand and we were proposing a handmade hamper, you know, with a, with a blanket from our brand and then to come here and get the hamper. Um, interestingly, the, um, the Asian side of the um, British heritage brand that I was working for didn't really understand the concept of a picnic and they thought that eating from the floor, from the grass, as I was trying to point out, uh, was quite disgusting. There's nothing finer on a summer's day in London than to sit in one of the parks on your beautiful blanket with a selection of fine food. So welcome to Charbonnel and Walker here on Bond Street. This is an amazing chocolate shop. So the Queen also loves Charbonnel and Walker. They've got the Royal Warrants and I happen to adore their violet creams because I love a bit of a granny chocolate. So this is one of my favorite stores to buy stationery in. You can get your hand-printed correspondence cards, your business cards, as well, of course, as hand-customized um, notebooks, the leather-bound notebooks with their famous very wafer-thin Nile blue paper. You can get your business cards made here and your correspondence cards all printed using traditional printing techniques. So you've got the lovely raised um, print on them, a very American psycho style for anybody that's seen that great movie. Also their books are exquisite. They're famous for their leather work. They've got a really beautiful selection of leather bound notebooks in a range of sizes, as well as photo albums, trinket boxes, uh, photo frames, all in their beautifully colored leathers, as well as their relatively new range of bags. I happen to really love their toiletry bags and also their jewelry boxes. 
pieces, which come in a variety of sizes and make the perfect gift for a lady in your life. So they've collaborated with people like Fiona Lihe, who is, of course, the beautiful tablescape designer who did um, Dita Von Teese's wedding. Uh, she's done a little book on entertaining because Smithson of London are famous for their diaries. So you can also get their um, fashion diary where you've got all the listings in the front of the big stores in London. It's quite wonderful. They've got the academic diaries, anything you want. They're amazing, big, small, all different sizes. And they've also collaborated with a range of fashion designers on specific little products. And actually, I did some illustrations many, many years ago for a fashion brand for London Fashion Week and I illustrated their invitations and Smithson of Bond Street really helped us out and, um, and managed to print them in record time uh, so we had them in time for the show. Benix of Bond Street it might not be as busy or as animated or as fashionable as something like Selfridges, but Fennec has a really great selection of pieces, especially for women in their 40s and beyond. It's all very accessible and beautiful and well selected. Their lingerie selection is lovely. They've not only got the bigger brands that you would expect and all of the French brands, but a lovely range of colors and different sizes. They've got a lovely accessory section on the ground floor with a great range of jewelry, including the pieces by Alighieri that I love. Those really warm gold plated colored pieces that make any outfit and upstairs you'll find all of the brands that we love like joseph and max mara as well as seasonally appointed little installations and um, recently they had some really beautifully chosen vintage pieces from the 90s now i know for modern midlife women sometimes there's a bit of a difficulty with vintage because you feel like gosh i've seen all of that stuff first time round and um, they had a really great selection of like galliano slip dresses for example from the 90s that are so hard to find and they've also got a lovely coffee shop where you can just stop and have a great pause it's light and bright inside and the bathrooms are also really beautiful I love coming here with private clients, especially at the start of a shopping day. It doesn't feel so busy or overwhelming as some of the other stores can feel. It just feels quite calm and you can find quite a lot of stuff in one place. So it's quite sort of economical as well. I found many a great piece here for private clients as well as myself. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more style inspiration for the over 40s. Merci, à la prochaine, au revoir.